I chose driving as a career because first thing I like to drive and what better way to see the country and uh, get paid for it. And I call myself a paid tourist. I decided uh, it'd be to my advantage to uh, have some more home time, spend time with the grandkids. And uh, it's a nice break. One thing, they, they match you up with a, uh, another driver who's in the same wavelength you're in type of thing. Like, uh, I'm, I, I share a truck with Paul, and, and he doesn't smoke, he doesn't have pets. He likes to keep a clean truck and everything, and we're, and it kind of matches up good, and they've done a good job with that, so I'm, I'm happy. Not that we're getting married or anything, but. <laughs> well, seven days, seven days on, so I would get in Thursday morning, go out on my trip, and then I would come back uh, Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday night. After I take all my stuff out, the shop will come in, they'll get the truck, bring it in the shop, and they will, they will sanitize it and clean it up and have it ready for Paul the next morning, the next driver the next morning. Uh, Bison's very thorough, I think. I mean, uh, I know when I have an issue, I phone maintenance, and they either line me up to get me into the shop right away, or they do their best. But they try to fit you in, and they're right on top of safety. You know, I work with other companies and uh, it doesn't match Bison's uh, safety. Well, yeah, one day I like to get, uh, my wife wouldn't agree with this, but I want to get a nice 65 Pontiac Prejean two-door hardtop and restore that one day and take it on a road trip because that's uh, something special to me because my dad had one. And I got fond memories of uh, riding in it when I was little. So that's one day. <laughs>